In this video, I'm gonna show you how to boost one of your body's key energy hormones by 70% starting tonight. My name is Ari Witten. I'm a functional health practitioner, two-time best-selling author, and founder of The Energy Blueprint, which is the number one science-backed resource in the world for helping people overcome fatigue and increase their energy level. This is a chart showing you what levels of this hormone most people have, which is down here, and it is legitimately the vast majority of people that have levels of this hormone that are much, much, much lower than they should be. This is what's optimal. Consider, okay, for, for just a moment, that if this is a powerful energy hormone in your body, do you want to have levels like this or levels like this? And, and do you think that having levels like this every day for years and decades might over time have some consequences. Well, you bet. And I'm gonna show you what some of those consequences are because there's a whole bunch of science on it. And this hormone that I'm referring to is melatonin. Now, almost everybody has heard of melatonin before. And what people know is that it's a sleep hormone. It's an energy hormone too. And it's one of the most important energy hormones in our body. Melatonin is vital for sleep quality. Now that in, in itself makes it indirectly a very important energy hormone because it's a sleep hormone and sleep and energy levels are two sides of the same coin how deep you sleep that the depth and the quality of your sleep is the opposite side of the coin from your daytime energy levels what if i told you that most people have impaired sleep quality even if you sleep you're in bed eight hours you have impaired sleep quality and the actual depth and restorativeness of your sleep what's called sleep efficiency is impaired because of what's called your circadian rhythm habits and your melatonin levels specifically. So just as a function of how melatonin helps your sleep quality, that in itself makes it a powerful energy hormone. But there's an even bigger secret to melatonin. Melatonin is a potent protector, probably the single most potent protector of your mitochondria. Here's why. The most powerful antioxidant in existence is not vitamin C or vitamin E or vitamin A. In terms of antioxidant effects, especially at the cellular, at the mitochondrial level, nothing comes close to melatonin. Melatonin is bar none the most powerful antioxidant and protector of your mitochondria. There's a whole bunch of research on this. This graphic basically illustrates that melatonin gets into the mitochondria, and that's a key point because almost no other antioxidants actually have the ability to get into your mitochondria, your cellular energy generators. And once inside, they do a few things. One, they directly increase the ability of those mitochondria to produce energy. They directly get rid of, neutralize, reactive oxygen species and what are called reactive nitrogen species. It also does something even more remarkable, melatonin not only neutralizes free radicals itself, but it does something orders of magnitude more powerful, which is that it interacts with our internal cellular anti antioxidant defense system and recharges that system every night while we sleep. And that depends on having adequate levels of melatonin. Now here's what's shocking that most people have absolutely no clue about. Exposure to regular standard room lighting in your home massively suppress your brain's ability to produce melatonin. Again, coming back to this chart, now you can see this is melatonin levels that we're talking about, and these are the hours of the night. So what this is down here, this is the typical person who, who basically is just in an indoor environment like pretty much everybody. Now it's specifically the blue wavelengths of light and to some extent the green wavelengths, but especially the blue wavelengths of light that are actually the melatonin suppressing wavelengths. Okay? And, and that's important to something we'll come to later. But basically this is what's going on. So we have this powerful hormone critical for protecting the cellular energy generators and recharging the internal antioxidant defense system. And this is what's happening every single night. You're secreting far, far less than you should be and far, far less than what is optimal and normal for the human species. So two big consequences of this. Obviously, consequence number one is poor sleep and as a result, of course, poor energy since sleep and energy are two sides of the same coin. But there's an even bigger consequence. Mitochondrial dysfunction is the other big problem that, that is caused by low melatonin levels. And of course, this results in low energy levels for a very obvious reason. So how do you fix this situation? How do you go from this to 
this. So here is the super quick version of how to do that. Number one is blue green blockers from Safety Blue. The sleep saviors are the best ones to get. Change the room lighting in your house to alter the spectrum so it's lower in blue light and more shifted to red and infrared light. And that means incandescents are ideal. And the third thing is lots and lots of bright light, outdoor, ideally sunlight during the daytime. Combining all these three is really the most ideal scenario, but if you can do at least one, you can massively increase your levels of melatonin. By the way, I also wanna mention, this is just scratching the surface of my sleep and circadian rhythm optimization protocol. If you wanna check that out, highly recommend it. You tons more strategies that I offer there. It's at the energyblueprint.com forward slash sleep fix. Now, just to wrap up here, as we accumulate lots of weak and damaged mitochondria, we lose our health, we lose our strength, and we lose our energy. We age faster. We're far more susceptible to cancer, and we end up weak and chronically fatigued. So is it starting to make sense why you're feeling so tired? If the mitochondria need to regenerate each night in order to manufacture the ATP that gives you energy, ATP is cellular energy, then without good circadian rhythm habits, which is your brain's biological clock and the melatonin secretion depends on a healthy, strong circadian rhythm. So without good circadian rhythm habits and lots of melatonin being pumped out of your brain each night while you sleep, you'll slowly be sapping away your body's ability to produce energy at the cellular level day after day because your mitochondria are accumulating damage over time and they're becoming dysfunctional. So key points, number one, producing ample amounts of melatonin each night is one of the biggest keys to optimizing your mitochondrial health. And mitochondrial health, in turn, is one of the absolute most important factors in your longevity, the prevention of numerous chronic diseases, especially cancer, and of course, your sleep quality and your energy levels. I have tons more to share. If you'd like to go even more in depth and take your results to the next level on this subject, please go check out my sleep optimization protocol. I know you're gonna love it. You can get it at theenergyblueprint.com forward slash sleep dash fix, sleep fix. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you again soon.